Okay, here's the Mag C2 Audi. Switch it on. And let's have a look at these percussion switches. See that? Switches here for re reverb, tone, drive, and volume. And we've got the drawbars. These are aluminium. The bars here with um, the black parts are, I think, painted on. So it's solid aluminium, the drawbar, I think, like a, a nail helmet, perhaps. fingers and then there are these we switches here that's for the mini vent and this one here is to change the speed Very slow and fast again and this is the um, bypass switch Switches off the mini bit, and then that's the preset so a lower gain and higher gain, which you can adjust yourself, just like the mini vent because it is a mini vent. And uh, this is the wee Leslie switch I made, just held on with a velcro type material. There we go. Just let you see the, the buttons. And again, the authentic style Hammond on light. Controller there, which we don't need to use. Okay, the overview there. Let's see that cool side panels. So this is a solid metal here. I think it's um, aluminium. It's a, I think it's a powder coat, black finish. And here as well. Check the authentic style big screws. All the way along. It's all metal and wood. Check out the height difference in the keyboards. The upper manual is not set as high, I think, as a vintage Hammond. It's fine, doesn't bother me, and it uh, makes it more compact. There's the wee rocker switches again, just to give you another idea. Hardly touching them. Now, if you wanted to go for the P2 Mag organ. Everything's pretty much the same, but you'll have the reverse colour keys on the left. And I don't think you have these preset buttons here because you don't need them if you've got 
reverse cover preset key. There you are. Wee video there.